Hi, welcome to another lesson with Dr. Hill, where I try to explain an important scientific concept in less than 10 minutes. And today what we're going to talk about is the pH scale. The pH scale. Now the pH scale is a way of um, measuring the acidity of acids to some extent, uh, how acid an acid is, or the alkalinity of a base, how alkaline a base is. And it's it's really talking about um, uh, how effective these acids and bases are going to be in, in being corrosive and in their reaction uh, with other substances. So what we need to do is all different acids, if I take sulfuric acid and hydrochloric acid and ethanoic acid, which is vinegar, they are all going to be kind of different strengths um, and they're going to have a, a different ability to carry out a chemical reaction. Um, and if I take different bases like ammonia or I, I take uh, sodium hydroxide, it's going to be, uh, they're going to be different. So how can I put these substances onto some kind of scale? Um, acids come up a lot in our food. We, we, we have a lot of food where uh, acids are involved in providing the flavor for us, you know, vinegar and, and lemon juice, citric acid. Uh, we don't tend to have bases so much in our food, but we tend to, uh, if we if we do put some a base in our mouth by mistake, uh, say we're cleaning the sink with sodium hydroxide and we get a little bit in our mouth, it tastes incredibly bitter. It's a much it's a very much more unpleasant flavor. So anyway, these things are measured using the pH scale, and the pH scale is like a seesaw, and uh, you'll understand why it's a bit like a seesaw later. But uh, as, uh, as we increase the acidity, we go down towards zero. And as we increase the alkalinity, we go up towards 14. And in the middle, we have the neutral point, which is seven. So let's uh, have a look at the board and we'll see how exactly this is going to come out. So if I um, put seven in the center of our scale, okay, we've got... Uh, a scale going in both directions and down here we have 0 and up here we have 14. Now everything up here is a base. Okay, Everything down here in this zone is an acid. Okay, So we will 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. We can have different levels of pH. We have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 up this end. And this is what we call neutral. The neutral point, 7. Okay? Now, we talked in our last lesson about acids and bases, uh, and what they were. And, and an acid is something that when uh, you dissolve it in water, it uh, dissociates and forms hydrogen ions in that water. And that's essentially what this scale measures. The greater the concentration of hydrogen ions in the water, i.e. the hydrogen ions per liter of water, uh, the closer to zero you will get uh, on your pH scale, you'll, you'll measure closer to zero. So what we have here is an arrow that shows increasing in this direction H plus concentration. The square brackets mean concentration in chemistry. Okay. In this direction, remember that a base is made of hydroxide ions. And what this means is as we get towards 14, we get increasing OH negative concentration. All right, so as the hydroxide concentration increases, we get closer to 14. As the hydrogen ion increases, we, the concentration increases, we get closer to zero. So you might ask, if I've got uh, something that's pH 4 over here, uh, say an acid like uh, ethanoic acid, vinegar, and I add some sodium hydroxide to it, what's going to happen? Well, what happens is that it drags the pH back towards 7. And if I keep adding uh, hydroxide ions, sodium hydroxide, I'll push it all the way out um, into the basic region of the pH scale. 
Now this is interesting. It means there's a relationship between hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. And that's what we talked about in the first lesson with water. You put these two things into one solution, they will get together and they will form a water molecule. And they kind of take each other out of the, out of the solution. So um, if I want to decrease pH uh, from a hydroxide end, what I can do is add some acid and I'll pull the, uh, the pH towards zero. And if I want to increase the pH, I can add hydroxide. So if I take another arrow here, let's say I'm going to do that, I can add hydroxide ions, okay? And if I want to go the other way, I can add hydrogen ions. And we'll look at the reaction between these two things and different acids and bases in detail later. So there's the pH scale. It measures from 0 to 14. 0 is a very, very strong acid. This is uh, uh, any acid that can dissolve in water and produce very high concentrations of hydrogen ions. 14 is a very strong base uh, where we can dissolve um, a base and produce a very high quantity of hydroxide ions. Remember the hydrogen ions that already exist in water are balanced out by the hydroxide ions that already exist in water. So water, of course, itself is neutral. It's in there somewhere, okay? So acids, bases, hydrogen ions, hydroxide ions, they're all related to water because when we bring those two things together, we start making water molecules. If I add hydroxide, I'm going to make my solution move towards 14. If I add hydrogen ions, I'm going to make my solution move towards zero and become more acidic. So there you go, R. That is a brief introduction to the, uh, the pH scale. Uh, and if you do an experiment, uh, I'll put a link in the comment, uh, in the, in the uh, description below to an experiment that you can do at home with uh, a, a red cabbage. Uh, you can make a solution from red cabbage that is um, the color of the cabbage. And if you add acid to one, uh, or bases to it, it, it produces different colors depending on which point on the pH scale you manage to get to. So that's a fun experiment to do at home and I'll put it in the description below. Uh, but the important thing to remember is that as we go up to 14, we're, in, uh, we're basic. As we go down to zero, we're acid. Uh, if we add acid to a solution, we head towards zero. If we add a base to a solution, we head towards 14. And when we take acid and base together, we can mix them and we start heading towards seven until one of them outnumbers the other and then we'll go into that zone. So there you go, a quick introduction to the pH scale, um, and I hope I've managed to do that in 10 minutes. I'll see you in the next lesson.